women like this video caught me off guard when i seen her say win the breakup i never knew we try to win breakups i never knew this like it was a competition who gonna win the breakup being very emotional i'm gonna teach you guys how to win the breakup men are very used to women like being very <coughs> emotional creatures like and i say creatures because they think that we're fucking animals but in reality they're the emotional little bastards you just have to bring it out of so if a man breaks up with you it just seems like you're right you know i i agree that we probably should you know, part ways. That automatically is gonna catch him off guard, but that's not gonna get him. Don't let a dumb bitch be like, oh, that's gonna get him. That's gonna make him wanna be with you. No, because our goal is not even to wanna be with him. It's to win the breakup. So you're gonna cut him off cold turkey. You're not gonna talk to him. And I know that's gonna be hard. It's gonna be very, very hard. But at the end of the day, it's still Tuesday, bitch. You live without him before, you're gonna live without him again. It's gonna be fucking hard though. And I'm aware of that. He's gonna call. You're not going to answer. He's gonna text you. You're not going to answer. Call him back two days later, 8 p.m. Hey, I missed your call. What's up? He's going to answer you. And you're just gonna be like, oh yeah, like I said, you're just returning your call, what's up? But I'm really busy right now, so make it fast. I promise you're just gonna have so much power within yourself from ignoring that bitch. You're gonna be like, actually, I don't give a fuck. I promise. Once you like give the power back to yourself of like not talking to somebody and ignoring them, it's amazing. It's very hard though. Cry to yourself. Don't fucking cry to him. I need you to understand she called a man to be word. I need you to understand she called whoever who she talking about to be word. And I want you guys, if you ever hear a woman call a man the B word, don't deal with that woman. Don't deal with that woman. There's a certain level of just, you know, uh, feminism that I, you should want from a woman. I won't speak on me because y'all I, I know how I am. But there's a certain level of femininity you want from a woman. And it's like a woman is calling all these guys bees and stuff like that. You know, I, I don't deal with her. That's not the type of woman because you gotta understand when she's not with you, she's gonna all oh, that's all she's gonna call you. And she might even when she get mad, and that's what she's gonna call you. And like I said, this woman, like we live in a society where women play games and they always have like a backup plan for a backup plan. And they have so many access and um situation where they have guys approach them and they always like decide, do I want to keep the guy I'm with or do I want to leave the guy? Women leave us, the majority of us have been left by women, rejected by women consistently. And it happens all the time. Even if some of us get tired of relationship, they're quick to leave. And it's like they care not for the investment. They don't care for the investment. I'm about to say something unhinged, you know, but I believe you should keep a roster, guys. Not keep a roster, you can cheat on her. Keep a roster so you won't have that level of investment into thinking that she's the only girl I can get. So I'm going to tell you this. When I was out here single and I had a roster, I noticed something. When I have a roster, I care less about the women on the roster because there was other women on the roster. And I was adding new women on the roster all the time consistently. So it was like consistently somebody go out and somebody come in, somebody go out, somebody come in. So it was new girls coming in and new girls adding on, new girls disappearing. I mean, it was just a rotation. When a girl tells me, hey, Sean, and she says something I don't like, I and call and I call the other one. I will hit up all five or six of them and I will keep the rotation going. And I never had time to really be invested to any of them. So none of them felt the need to think that I prioritized them. Like <clears throat> someone try to play games or I'm going to cut you off. Or I'm not going to text you for like a week and stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. They'll try to see if they can go a long period of time and not text me and I care. I didn't care. They used to say, you don't care about nothing. They don't care about me, but they want me to care about them. And they, girls will play women. Let me not say girls. Women will play this game. And they will try to make you believe that, okay, I'm his best option because I'm very attractive. If I have a roster, let's say she's the she's the most attractive one. But if I have a roster of six, I can be entertained by the other five. You may be the best looking one, but I still entertain the other five. They, good, they, they, they look good too, but they're not at your level, but they still look good. I won't prioritize you because of your looks. I want you because of your looks, but I won't prioritize you. The roster is the roster. And you are part of the roster. So if a girl cut me off and she was like, oh, I'm not going to text him. He's acting weird. He's acting lame. You know what I do? I text the rest of the five the exact same thing. I text her. And I'm telling you that because we all do it. You text all of them the same thing. 
somebody's respond whoever respond i'm on the phone i'm like i'm going on this date today or i got this going on and i was canceling back to back to back guys i could be midway going to a girl place and the one that i wanted calls me and i tell the other girl i'm going to a place right now who's already dressed who cleaned up her place and i tell her yeah i can't make it i got something that came up and she'd be like you always do this and i'm like but you gotta understand that is an emotional stimulation imagine you plotted on this situation she plotted she was like sean is finally coming over sean is on his way halfway through the drive it's a good little drive too guys halfway through the drive she's cleaning up the place she's sending me she's facetiming me and i'm on my way and guess what the one i want to say come to my spot right now i'm like <coughs> i'm spinning the car and i'm telling her i can't make it i'm sorry my bad and i'm making up excuses while i'm driving and i'm like okay and i'm going to her spot and if I mess with her and I'm like, okay, after we do what we do, if she's mad at me and stuff like that, I'll be like, okay, I'm leaving. And I'm like, is the la is the other one still up? I might pull up on her. But it was never a sense of saying that I need any of y'all. Because when one told me, oh, Sean, we not doing this. I was like, <laughs> I'm on the phone already. Why are you telling me this nonsense? I got her. I put my phone on mute and I'm texting the other one. What you doing? What you got going on? What you want to do tonight? You want to go out to eat real quick? And guess what? When she's telling me, oh, you know, I got this going on with my family and she's talking to me crazy on the phone. I'm like, hey, that's cool. I'll talk to you later. I hang up. Oh, you're not. I'm, I'm good. Go, go to sleep. Boom. I already got another one. I'm in my car. I'm going. I never had an attachment to the women, no matter how attractive it was. They knew the way I moved. I have options. Women know. In intuition is real. Women know. They know something. The way he cut it off just like that mid conversation and they'll be like he must have hoes he must have hoes and i never said i have hoes i would never say i have hoes i would never say it i would never say it. no matter how many guys i would never say it. but you have to understand you have to have this mentality because women like she said she want to win the breakup they're no winning a breakup with me they're no winning a breakup with me the level of investment that she think i have within her is not true it's false it's imaginary so whatever she believe that she's seeing of me, it's a, it's a facade. It's a facade. It's fake. It's not real. It's imaginary. She's delusional. She's tripping. So I'm doing what I want to do. And these girls get a perception of me. And when she thinks Sean is out here laying in bed, he don't got nothing going on, you got me messed up. I am not a broke dude. I know how to deal with women. I know how to talk to women. The roster is the roster. It takes time to build a roster, but I will have a roster and I'm recruiting all the time. When I was out there, I was recruiting all the time. It was no stop. I was like the coach with a pen and I was like, I hear got them the recruiting coach and I'm out here recruiting. Hey, what's the stats right here? She's 5'2". She's thick. She's slim thick. Okay. Yeah. Add her to the roster. Oh, okay. What about her? She's 5'7". Okay. I'm still taller. Okay. Add her to the roster. And I'm like, okay, bro, rosters, roster. I mean, we building rosters. The, no girl could say I was investing when they say, oh, if you don't give me a relationship, or you won't be getting this box no more, no matter how great the box was. The pants come on, the shirt goes on, you go home for real, the chain comes on, <laughs> I'm out. I'm out because you understand, there's a roster. There's other players. If this player don't want no playtime, we're getting somebody off. Somebody, somebody's coming in. We have other people on the bench. They will get playtime. That's what you have to understand. That's emotional stimulation for women, guys. And when you come to this abundance mindset, you don't worry about stuff like that. She's tripping. The other one going to be entertaining. She been waiting for a response for a week. I ain't texted for a week. And I'd be like, what's up? What you got going on? Wow, really? Yes. Like, I, you know, you know, I'd be having stuff. I, the first thing I say, I'm a busy man. I have stuff going on. The busyness is not because of my business, because my business is always prioritized no matter what. No matter what the business will prioritize, the business is that saying that basically there's plenty of y'all. The business is that I think I'm busy with another one because the business is always prioritized over all the women, regardless, regardless. But I'll always say I'm doing me. I'm not going to ever stress you. I'm not going to blow up your phone. I'm not doing extra. I don't do all that extra stuff, guys. I ain't texting them nonstop. I ain't going crazy. I ain't phone calling, FaceTiming and stuff like that. If I call once or twice and you you busy, I'm like, all right, 
call the rest, the roster, boom, text, do, 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 do. I'm like, oh, whoever's down to do something, and somebody was always down to do something. But nah, guys, you got to build a roster because these women are trying to win um, breakups and stuff like that. And they're trying to win in relationships. It's not a competition. Why will I be competing with my girl? Like, the dumbest thing, but you got to, most guys be too attached and they get hurt when she says she's trying to win their breakup. And not out of 10, most women do win the breakup because sometimes they be foul. But <clears throat> don't worry about nothing. Like, keep you a, a steady roster. Don't be too invested. And stay on your course, guys. Stay on your course. Because they're out here trying to win breakups. And I ain't never heard nobody talking about I'm going to win a breakup. What kind of nonsense is that? Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I went out with a guy, co-worker, who has kind of indicated that he likes me. Long story short, we went out to eat. By the time that bill came, baby, he did not pay at all. Now, mind you, 